It's no secret, nor is it a surprise that the Conservative Party would say that the Liberal child care plan simply won't work. In fact, with me to speak more on this is Michael Chong. He's the incumbent for Wellington Halton Hills. Thank you so much, first of all, for taking the time to be on our program today. I wanted to get a sense, uh, your perspective as to why you think this won't work compared to yours. Well, I think uh, there's several problems with the Liberals' plan for childcare. First of all, we believe that women need uh, support in order to remain and enter the workforce. It's clear that childcare is a huge challenge for many Canadian families, for uh, working men and women across this country. And so we support uh, having access to childcare for working men and women across this country. Uh, but the Liberal plan doesn't meet that goal. Uh, first off, I'll say we should treat their any campaign commitments that the Liberals make on child care with a great deal of skepticism. I remember when the Liberals trotted out this promise in 1993, almost 30 years ago. And despite the fact that they've been in government time and time again, they have failed to deliver on that commitment. More specifically, the problem with their plan is that it's a one size fits all plan. It doesn't take into account the varied nature of work across the sectors of our economy and across the regions of our economy. It doesn't take into account, into account the fact that many people live in rural and remote regions who don't have access to uh, childcare like people do in cities. It doesn't take into account the fact that many people work shift work um, who also don't have access to that kind of standard childcare. So we believe in putting in place a flexible plan uh, working through the provinces uh, that will allow Canadian women and men to access child care when they need it. So you say we should take this Liberal child care plan with a grain of salt, but we do know that the Liberal government has already made some deals with some provinces in the country, including Quebec. So why do you say we should be skeptical considering there are already plans in place? Well, there is no deal with Quebec. Quebec has had a provincially run public child care system in place now for decades. Uh, so the federal government didn't strike any deal with Quebec. All they did was transfer an additional $6 billion a year, no strings attached. Um, other provinces have chosen to do uh, to take a slightly different approach. Uh, and the recent deals negotiated between the federal government and the provinces uh, don't meet the the, uh, the their promise of delivering universal child care. It simply won't deliver on that. And we've been through this, as I've mentioned before, many, many times. Uh, they've now been in power for, since they first made this promise in 1993, some 28 years ago, uh, the Liberals have been in power for approximately 18 of those uh those 27 or 28 years and they have failed to deliver uh on that commitment 18 of the last 28 years they've been in power and yet they keep trotting this out um, as a hail mary uh in the dying days of a government um, and so we should treat this promise with a great deal of skepticism so to remind viewers about what your party's promise is, it includes a child care expense deduction into a refundable tax credit to cover up to 75% of the cost of child care for lower income families. And that means those making $150,000 or less. You say we should look to the Liberal plan with some skepticism. Uh, why should our voters in your writing mm -hmm. not look to your party's promise with the same uh, grain of salt? Well, that's a good good question, Melissa. Um, I think simply because in the past, uh, our record demonstrates that when we uh, make a commitment to deliver on a child care plan, we deliver on it. Um, for example, we in 2006 came to office promising to introduce a universal child care benefit that would be available to all families, both those living in urban centers who have access to conventional child care and those living in rural remote regions, uh, those families who have shift work. And so we delivered a $1,200 per year benefit to all Canadian families. The Liberals built on that benefit um, with additional supports through an enhanced universal child care benefit, which we support. Uh, and we think that that is the way to go rather than uh, the federal government uh, intruding into provincial areas of jurisdiction uh, with respect to a new federally regulated or federally 
mandated national child care system. The provinces have the expertise uh, to run child care and to run educational systems. Uh, some provinces have gone to a full uh, public child care system as the province of Quebec has done. Other provinces have taken slightly different approaches. It's the flexibility that our federation provides for. So we don't think the Liberal plan is going to work. We think our plan is a more realistic, more universal way uh, to help Canadian men and women uh, who need access to childcare. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for taking the time to speak with us on the program today. Thank you for having me.